What is up everyone? Welcome to a vlog. Now before I say anything or do anything, um, I'd just like to announce that I cannot see myself so I do not know if I'm recording myself. This camera's got a very wide angle lens which is a good thing. Actually I can see myself in the mirror there on the LCD. I'm Whoa, I'm actually getting quite a lot in, so that's okay. Um, so yeah, it might be a bit sketchy, because this is my first vlog with this camera. But the lighting is so much better on this camera. So, so much better. I mean, my other camera can get really good looking video, but you have to really pump it with loads of light. This one needs hardly anything, which is one of the big pros. But I've had a lot of people complain, well, no, a lot of people, like two people complain about various things with this camera. I'm still getting used to. The auto, the autofocus on it is, is pretty bad. Um, but I've uh, got a lens cleaning kit now. And I've done a little bit to the lens and it should hopefully improve. Um, but you may be able to hear sizzling in the background. Let's take a look at that. So as you guys can see, I've got some bacon on the go, as usual. I do love me some bacon. Uh, in this lovely little mini frying pan. I'm just going to... Keep it simple today and have bacon, just a bacon sandwich. And I bought myself some donuts. Um, I got three donuts. I'm really not meant to eat these, but whatever. I'll probably eat one or probably eat two and then give the other one to my dad or something because he's got quite a sweet tooth. But yeah, I got some bacon on the way. Also, the frustrating thing for today is I missed a parcel addressed to Tom Smith. Um, Let's take a look if I can see the thing. I missed a parcel addressed to me and it was a signed for delivery. Yeah, here it is, Royal Mail, missed your parcel thing. Um, 10.42. And I got home this morning at 11.02. So I only just missed it, which is massively frustrating, guys. Massively. I hate it when that happens. I'm not too sure what it is. Um, but the reason I started vlogging today is Wednesday today. I should have said that actually. It's Wednesday, the Wednesday the twenty fifth. Um, the reason I started vlogging today is because there's a couple of cool little things to show you guys. And also, as you can probably tell by now, you've probably seen quite a lot of Hackintosh videos by now. Actually, well, not a lot, just about parts and stuff. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe just about the parts that Joe donated. Um, but whatever you do end up seeing. Uh, I'll show you some behind the scenes in this vlog. It's always great to do it. I'm really sorry guys, I'm a bit spaced at the moment and talking crap because uh, I haven't really woken up properly and I haven't eaten yet so I'll be a lot more lively after eating. This vlogging stick is working out quite well. This camera lacks decent uh, optical image stabilisation unlike my camcorder so um, yeah it can be a bit shaky. The thing is it's a massive trade-off using these cameras because my camcorder is so much crapper in terms of um, general quality and, and lighting but this one is so much better with lighting and all that but it just lacks the camcorder features you know the, the things that make a camcorder easy um, but this is a better camera if you get things right I just need to start getting things right anyway whatever so guys I've just finished breakfast and of course it came to me in a bubble of realization after I'd eaten a little bit that the package that I missed is uh, from Will the Plank or the tech plank, Will, you all know him. Great guy. He's actually sending me his graphics card, or it's, you know, should have arrived because I missed the damn package. He's sending me his Mac Pro graphics card, a 2600 XT, so that I can easily fix my Mac Pro without going through too, too much bother. Um, so I've missed that, unfortunately, and I just remembered that that was the plan today. Um, the plan today was to unbox, not unbox, sorry, just unwrap that and make an update video on my Mac Pro, get the Mac Pro working again, that would be tomorrow's video. So I'm trying to get through to my parents now because they may be passing the sorting office and if they do then they can bring the package back here. Um, but I'm not sure if you need the slip, it's got a number on it so I can text my mum the number if they need the reference number or whatever it is, but yeah. So I've done what I can do now guys, I've uh, phoned my parents and they're going to take a look for me. Thank God they're actually passing back through where the sorting office is. It's about seven miles away from me, but it probably won't happen to be honest. I've uh, I've messaged my mum a photograph of the slip that you get, but you probably need the card. I mean, it's very rare that I get Royal Mail deliveries these days because everything I order is too big to come in Royal Mail, either that or it's sort of uh, Amazon or something. Um, but yeah, the, the, the our postman is really good because if it's not signed for, 
he knows exactly where to leave it. But of course, if it's signed for, you've got to get a signature. But often what I find annoying, and I guess it's not their fault, you know, postmen are very busy. They have to cram a lot of houses into their one run. Um, they could get it easily signed by, by a neighbour. And they used to do that a lot, but they seem to be doing it less these days. Not that I get a lot of these packages anyway, but um, it was great because Will only sent it out yesterday. And he was... Um, you know, he had a massive queue at the post office and everything, and he, he decided to um, send it out, like, next day, sign for delivery, which is awesome. Um, so, that's brilliant of him. He just, he's so helpful. It's great. And, uh, yeah, the response I got on my Mac Pro videos, there was a lot of things I could have done to fix it. You know, everyone's like, Boot, go into target disk mode, target disk mode, yeah, man, target disk mode. It's like, yeah, no. Um, I'm, my setup is perfect at the moment and I don't want to tarnish it any, in any way um, so just opening the side of the Mac Pro slotting in another GPU would be a lot easier but anyway guys whatever um, what I'm going to do now is get myself settled wait for my food to kick in properly because I'm still pretty zoned and also set up my MacBook Pro because obviously it's in my bag and I need to set it up on the setup and blah 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 yeah just had a phone call from my mum uh, they won't be passing the sorting office in time, which is totally cool. So I'll message Will and tell him I'll tell him that we're delayed by one day. Um, but it's no biggie because he doesn't use this card uh, as his main card, I don't think. Um, so he should get it back. If I'm posting it out on Friday, I'll be posting it via courier because I'll be posting it with another package. I won't announce it just in case he doesn't want me to, just in case he's leaving it as a surprise unboxing or something on his channel. Um, but yeah, I'm posting it with something else for him that we uh, struck a uh, pretty cool deal on. So that's cool. Um, so yes, that means I won't be... Um, I won't be doing the Mac Pro update until Friday. But that's okay, that's cool. So we'll be ending the week on the Mac Pro. I've got today's video sorted, which is the um, a donation from Joe, the huge Hackintosh donation. And tomorrow's video, I'm gonna make it about a free PC that I got today, which is on the floor behind me. But first, I'm gonna catch up on some YouTube videos and have a chill because I'm working tonight in the cinema until late. So um, I don't wanna be working, you know, continuous, uh, 13, 14 hours straight. So I've just finished recording the video that you guys have already seen on this little Acer. Pretty cool little system, it works as well. Like I said in the video, I got it off of my um, girlfriend's brother. So, there we go. Uh, so, yeah, in exchange, I'm actually giving him something really cool. And it's something that he needs. Now, if you look, this is the monitor that he gave me with the... Um, let me turn the light on, I can't see much. The camera can see a lot, I can't see a lot. Um, that's actually the monitor that he gave me with the Acer, but I'm just, I've am just i just got it on there for illustration purposes, just to show you guys. This is a speaker stand, a standard speaker stand, and they have 35 millimeter pole. And this is a VESA mount that mounts onto the back of a monitor or TV, and let's see, hang it on your speaker stand. Now, what the hell is going on? Well, basically, he's moved rooms, and, oh, if I just take a seat here, you can see it's pretty high. Um, he's moved rooms, and, he has a wall-mounted TV at the moment, but he uh, cannot have a wall-mounted TV in his new room, and he has lost the stand. So I was like, well, you know, this is pretty much the only thing I can do for you. And I don't use this anymore. Um, I don't use these speaker stands anymore or anything. These mounts are great for karaoke monitors, by the way, guys. I mean, this is only a 19-inch, but even this is perfect for karaoke or whatever at gigs. And you can also get a couple of cool clip-on mic clips that come under here so you can have your microphones either side of your, uh, of your TV. Um, as long as you lock the cables in, people won't nick them. I used wireless mics, so I used to hand them out. But anyway, um, the only thing I'm slightly concerned about is, obviously it won't be this high. I've got it this high for illustration purposes. I can't remember the max weight rating of this and all the max screen size. Something's telling me there's a max screen size of about 28 inches, but I think he's got a 32 inch TV. So I'm not sure if that matters, but I also don't know if his TV has a VESA mount. I don't know a lot about monitor mounting. Um, I know that VESA is standard. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research to see if this will be all right for him, but I'll take it down tonight, nevertheless, to see. I mean, it's a pretty bulky solution, but why the hell not? So after further inspection, I see that you can get these adapters, which is cool, that adapts from, you know, the small to the big, um, and all the variants in between of uh, these mounts. 
So if his TV is bigger than this mount, which it probably is, I can't remember what size it is, whoops, um, then that will be fine as well because we'll just put the adapter plate on and everything will be cool. This stand is rugged enough to hold anything and you know we'll just uh, we'll just chance it with the weight. This is a fairly beefy adapter so whatever. Um, it's all about living life on the edge and taking risks I guess guys but I'll try it tonight and uh, if it's not big enough then um, yeah, we'll, we'll order one of these and see how it works out. So everyone it's an average day for me. It is uh, about half past four now. My video is exporting and I've moved on to getting a little bit done before I've got to go to work tonight. So this is a little Mackie sound desk. It's not mine, the case isn't mine either. Um, basically the deal is, I got quite a big gig this Friday night. And, oh I'm out of breath because I just carried this up the stairs. Um, I got quite a big gig tonight, uh, tonight, Friday night. And I'm taking some lighting. Now, that case there that you can just see the corner of, that is my main lighting desk. That is my big 088 Leapfrog 48 running a beta version of Xeros. All lovely programmed up, fixture library sorted for all of my lighting, tons and tons of programs on there, um, palettes, macros, the whole hit. But it's not that great for compact gigs when we've got to get there in quite a small vehicle or whatever. So even though this is quite a sort of high-end gig for quite a well-known artist in Wales, um, I've got to take a small amount of lighting stuff. Now, you may be wondering why is this sound desk here? Well, I'm actually borrowing the case. I'm going to take the sound desk out, keep it safe, and then borrow the case for um, my old lighting desks, because my old lighting desks are smaller. Now, yeah, you're hearing me correctly, plural. I actually use two to achieve the amount of channels that I need for the rig. I used to use this big box here, and this one is a little more space saving. It's also got a height adjustable rack. So if I go back behind here, I may be able to reach in with a bit of luck and uh, no, I can't. I can't reach that on camera. But yeah, I'm gonna take these out and have a little quick look at how I'm gonna wire all this up and fit it all in actually. Uh, I've got two desks to go in here. And here we have the transformation guys. It is uh, 1729. Man, I'm gonna be off to work soon, unfortunately. Uh, um, uh, I've got so much crap all over my room and I've got so many things on half here that I'd just like to keep it this way. But I wanted to get this done now because this case was in the way. Um, yeah, so here we have it. A mobile, very ghetto lighting system. Um, yeah, so basically what I do is I use this bottom desk for generic lights and the top desk for movers, but it's been a long time. I mean, I'm selling my Martin 812s. I used to run two Martin 812s and two Acme Dynamo 250s off this desk, believe it or not. But I'll be selling my 812s. So, um, yeah, and running the Mac 250s off a desk like this? No way. So, if this setup becomes popular, then I'll swap both of these desks. Uh, get the Showtech variant of this with two auxiliary channels on it. They have auxiliary rotary knobs here, um, which will allow for like smoke machines or blinders or whatever that don't take up any of your 24 channels. And then I'll get the DMX Master 3 from Starville, which actually has effects generators in it, which makes programming moving lights a lot easier. But I don't really want this setup to become popular for me. Um, I'd rather just have this desk in a flight case and have that mobile because this has now become very big again as you can see it's big to store it's bulky um, so that's not the greatest thing in the world but it's handy having the power strip even if it does look a bit weird I'll permanently wire in the two transformers from these desks focus 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 come on come on no no you're not gonna focus if I do that and come back out mm, whatever um, I'll permanently get the transformers from both of these desks wired into there with cable ties around them so they don't slip out in transit um, and also maybe get some kind of desk light happening. Cable tied to the side here or something. But yeah, it's fairly cool. It's a fairly cool setup. It's a lot lighter than it was in that case. That case now has the phonic digital mixer in it. Um, so yeah, that's all good. But I won't bore you guys too much with this kind of thing on the vlog. Well guys, that is me. It is six o'clock and it's time for me to start making my way to work. Uh, so I really could have done with an extra couple of hours today, but I did waste a lot of time this morning just chilling out so you gotta be careful when you do when you work for yourself and you have a part-time job or a couple of part-time jobs you gotta be careful that you don't overwork yourself um, but at the same time you gotta get things done so it's kind of really hard to self-discipline yourself to know how much is a right amount of work because it's not necessarily hours it's what you pack into the hours because everything is different every day but um, 
I plan on making a video chatting about my experiences in my first year of being self-employed, so um, yeah, I'm not going to rant about it too much in this vlog. So I'm not taking you to work, guys. I'm um, pretty knackered, so I'll catch up with you guys either after work or tomorrow. Good day everyone, it is a day later and it is late, it is really late to start recording. It is, oh it's literally just turned 3 o'clock. From 1459 to 1500 hours. And the cool thing is I've been down the sorting office this morning, went down to town, got this from Will, which was awesome, had a fried breakfast, helped my girlfriend's boyfriend mount his TV on the stand, which is working incredibly by the way. I just need to get some cable ties from here now to sort out the cabling, forgot to take those down. I'll do that tonight. But because I got that package from Will, that means hopefully now I can get my Mac Pro working. So let's take a look at the scenario. You guys will have all seen what's happened by now with this, of course, because this will be Friday's video. Um, this Mac Pro video that I'm about to film. So. I think what I'm going to do is literally whip it in. We're going to be two minutes doing this, hopefully, guys. My room is a bit of a shambles. Um, when I say a bit of a shambles, it's on hell of a shambles. I don't know if I've said this in the vlog already. I've said it recently sometime, though. I'm a bit annoyed at myself for picking this moment in time for taking the gaming stock out of the cupboard because it is a bit inconvenient. But all the more motivation to get rid of it. Um, so that's all good. And also this lighting desk case that I wasn't banking on having in here is a little bit of an inconvenience as well. But I need to do some more work on that today. Um, tonight I'm going for a little bit of a, a chill down um, to this cool place. Um, what can I say about it? It's a seaside place near Swansea. Um, just for a little chill um, with some peeps, so that'll be cool. And also I'm going to help my girlfriend's brother with his cable management and maybe take a look at some speaker options for his TV with him and stuff like that. So I've got quite a cool few things to do today. And then tomorrow is um, just preparation for the gig, uh, continue vlogging, and hopefully if I get a chance tomorrow, I'll get some more things done on eBay. Ooh, and I've got a massive thing that I've got to do tomorrow that I can't actually announce what it is yet. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. But right now my main priority is to see if we can get this Mac Pro working, and if I can, I can pack up Will's uh, package and put his graphics card back in with it, so that's really cool. Big thank you to you, buddy. Awesome stuff. Oh, and by the way, guys, it's Thursday today, so you'll be looking back on this um, when this video is uploaded, but I had a ranty morning this morning, and I basically made a big song and dance about a load of dislikes on my donation video, my Hackintosh donation video. I made a big fuss about it, and I was cranky, and I shouted at lots of people. Um, you know, in the comments section, but everything is fine. I just had a bad morning and waking up to 25, 26, whatever it was, dislikes was horrible really, because I thought, you know what, the video that they want to see the most is the Hackintosh videos and I was so excited to show everyone that I'd had the components to wake up to that many dislikes was was kind of heartbreaking really but um to wake up to that many likes as well was also awesome so that's what keeps me going as you guys know and there are a lot of likes on that video so i am really pleased um i just find it really insulting uh, not just to me to joe as well you know he's made a lovely donation and i i did my best with the video and uh and it's come to that um, so I did a bit of a ranty paragraph about it, and if I read it back now, there are a lot of mistakes in my paragraph in terms of, you know, I could have worded things better and that, you know, to be more clear. But still, it's all done and dusted now, and I uh, went a bit ape shit this morning, but I'm, I'm settled again now. It happens sometimes. I'm sure if you guys do YouTube videos as well, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You just have the odd morning or the odd night or, you know, once in a blue moon, like four or five times a year where you just go a little bit ballistic and you start thinking everything is uh, worthless and crap. So, yeah, but... Um, it's all fine. It's all really fine. So it's time for me to swap up my SD cards and I'll continue vlogging after I film this video. Let's see what I can do. What up, what up everyone? It is a day later again, my God. Um, the news is I did not get the video done yesterday. I absolutely just failed. Oh man. Um, I got distracted by doing a couple of things to my new lighting desk flight case. Next thing you know it, um, I'm pretty much just everything has got on top of me and I'm not not doing anything so um, <laughs> it's Friday today and I'm making Friday's video today today is going to be the Mac Pro update and hopefully the end to this little saga of Mac Pro crapness um, it is currently 11 a.m. let's have a little look it is yeah exactly 11 a.m. and I 
I'm going to show you guys what I've done to my light and desk flight case because I might as well. Um, I did that yesterday, and then I went uh, I went out last night, so that was cool um, for a bit of a spin and stuff. And then I'm going to give myself a little bit of time to eat some breakfast, reorganise this place, ready to record the video because it's a complete shambles. Um, not tidy it totally, but just organise it enough. And then by 12 o'clock I want to be recording. Um, hopefully be done recording and editing by half past one. 1.30 so then I can start uploading and it'll upload in time and my battery's trying and trying to die so uh, I better put this on charge as well <laughs> so I thought I'd show you what I'd done with my desk guys uh, considering my battery's charged a little bit now sorry about the last clips um, yeah so here it is as you can see I've got the two desks in um, the bottom desk is just your basic scene setter but it's amazing what you can do with it when you're clever with uh, addressing and programming um, the top one is a DMX Master 1, which is a very popular, cheapo, cheap lighting desk from Tommen. Um, sort of designed around basic, basic moving light control. Uh, hence the stick, I guess. Um, and then up here we have a power strip. As you guys can see, both desks plugged in here. Cable tied in, not going anywhere. We have a little USB light here, which is really cool. Cable tied in, not going anywhere. And then we have two XLR connections. Um, they're DMX cable po poking up and I've got stuck there. Um, as you can see, red and blue labelled. You've got red down here for this desk, blue there for that desk, so that's the output from each desk. Um, if money stretches, well, money doesn't really have to stretch to buy one, but I would like to get a DMX merger that I can hide underneath the desks to merge the DMX from both of these desks. Um, but keeping the option for independent output would be really handy because um, for most things, especially now that I'm selling my Martin 812s like I think I mentioned, for most things this desk is totally, totally adequate. Um, it's amazing what it can do for the small stuff. Now, what basically happens is I have two, if I just put up that one and those, they're my LED channels. So we have master LED there. Then we have RGBW, RGBW, and then I've got two sets of LEDs, so one starting on channel 5, one starting on channel 17. These are in submaster mode right now, but I do have eight spare channels that I use for various things. So one, two, three, four, there, a spare, and one, two, three, four, there, a spare. So I've got little disco-y starball effects that I normally use on one and two, and then um, a couple of regular par cans. I, or I could have four normal park hands there, disco effect, hazer, something like that. It's amazing what you can fit in. But anyway, rambling aside, um, I have a single cable going to this setup because the single cable terminates in uh, XLR and uh, power for IEC to power this. And it basically goes all the way down over here. And I've been testing it today because I've got a gig tonight. Quite an important gig tonight. Um, and... This is the spool. Sorry about the terrible camera work, guys. This is where the power goes into to power the desk, and this is where the DMX comes out of. So, um, it's really handy because this means you can go anywhere within a 20 meter radius of the um, stage, anywhere you like in the venue, and they don't even have to have power there because I send power to the desks through this. I also use this with my big lighting desk, but I, I do want to get a five pin uh, one with a 16 amp power supply, um, which is this one's big brother. So this will be for the small setup and I'll have that one for the big setup. But yeah, so you power this, uh, standard, and normally I'd have a little one meter coming out of here going into a DMX splitter box, which would be sitting underneath this. And then that gives me four DMX outputs to go to my various daisy chains uh, of lights. And as you can see, I'm just testing it out with one par can here and everything is working great. So I'm very pleased with this little setup. It's a nice little multi-core cable. One cable to the desk, a little bit like, uh, looks like a little bit like an audio multi-core, but it's uh, definitely different. So as you can see, output works fine. Strobe, slightly less intense strobe, you know, all sorts of different stuff working really great. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this, guys. Ooh, uh, I will show you around the back as well because I'm quite proud of my cabling around the back. So I've raised the lid at the back for you guys to be able to see. Here's the back of the power strip. Um, I'm very, very pleased with this, guys. It still leaves room for pretty much all of my DMX cabling for a small rig to go in this case as well, so that saves on another cable case. Um, and as you can see, there's plenty of room for a 19-inch um, 
DMX merge underneath there, which will be ideal if I can get that rocking for this setup. But, you know, I do want to update the desks first. Um, the bottom desk is a little bit sticky. Um, some of the buttons, you know, it's it's been with me. It was my first desk, so it's been with me for years and years now. And the top desk doesn't have an effects generator, so it's not very good for, for much at all. So I would like to upgrade to... Uh, a new version of the bottom desk which has two auxiliary channels as well so 25 and 26 um, handy for smoke machines and, and um, various other things and I'd like to update the top desk with the DMX Master 3 which has um, built-in effects but you know that would be about two three hundred pounds right there but in terms of my cheapo lighting setup which is this you know my proper desk is under there um, this is working out great as you can see I have the power coming out of these transformers they're going around here down under there and they're all neatly cable tied all up there and going to their uh, desks so we have that one there and that one down there and then DMX wise we're coming round here and we're all neatly going back there with these little sticky pad things neat back there into the back of that desk there's literally no dangly cabling I do need to, tr uh, to trim this one down this little um, power supply because I don't need all of this but there may come a time where I do need all of this so I'm debating whether to trim it down or not because it's not really that much of a burden um, and here's the single cable coming in. So yeah, I've ranted about this for far too long. Uh, let me move on. Boom! We are back up and running, guys. Here's my Mac Pro all plugged in. Massive thank you, Will the Plank. Massive thank you, buddy. Absolute legend. Of course, you all know that I'm back and up and running at this point. I've put the mount on this monitor upside down, so it's about an inch above the other monitor, so I need to rectify that, but for now, it's not a problem. Uh, I also need to tidy up the desk setup in general, but my main priority is to get this edited and out today because as you guys know, this is the first time this week that I have not managed to push out a video uh, the day before the video is meant to be live, but I've got plenty of time, uh, absolutely plenty of time. It's a weird flickering that comes on the top of my HTC, that's very odd. Anyway, um, yeah, just importing the footage now, so really looking forward. So everyone, it is Saturday. I have just sat down on the computer now for my uh, for the first time. I've been doing all sorts of different things. I had a gig last night. It was massive, massively hard work. Um, it lasted all of yesterday afternoon and yesterday evening. Um, hence the reason why Friday's video did not get off the ground appropriately. It was all made and everything, but I had to leave the house while it was still encoding in Handbrake. So uh, that was all crazy. And then I couldn't get online to warn you guys and that. So no big deal, but... From one particular person that seems to be complaining about every single fucking thing I do on YouTube lately, uh, he's just giving me the run for my money now, so it's kind of really pissing me off, but whatever. Um, yeah, to be perfectly honest, these past few days have been tough. I really don't want to be all doom and gloom, guys, but the bottom line is I seem to be having really shit luck lately. Um, you know, life is fine. Life is, is fine. There's nothing wrong with my life, but... I am getting a, a horrendous vibe off of a lot of YouTube stuff. I mean, don't don't get me wrong, I'm getting lovely comments off loads of people, but uh, when I did one video a week, or, or before I launched my five videos a week thing, everyone appreciated the content a lot more. I know the vast majority of you really appreciate the content, but there are some people that just nitpick about the very smallest things, and it just... If something's going a little bit wrong in my life at the same time, it just drives me over the edge. Like, I'm normally really strong about this kind of thing. It's just these past few days, this past week or so, has been tough, man, and I've been losing it. I've been trying to stay offline because I've just been losing my, um, my temper and just writing comments that I'd never normally write back to people. I try and stay you know, somewhat professional and not shout at people and that, but I've actually been saying, you know, calling people out and saying, look, man, you're picking on me, you're being an arsehole, you know? Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's me being too sensitive or what, but Jesus Christ, it's I'm struggling. And this vlog is, is miserable, I know it is, because I'm just miserable, and it's not me at all, but... I don't know, it's just an excuse to rant to the camera, I guess. Anyway, on to a slightly different subject where I'm not complaining for a change. The gig went really well, the new lighting desk setup went really well. It's a bit big for what it does, so I don't know how long I'm going to be keeping it, and I'm very confused about my lighting setup in general and my lighting rig. Um, so, 
I don't know what I'm going to do there, but it did work really well, and it's a nice setup. Um, I got very... It was a big load in yesterday, yesterday, so there's a load of carrying and wheeling and stuff, and that really did me in. I was just absolutely knackered, and then this morning I've been moving a fridge freezer and stuff, so I am actually really just dirty and, and knackered. So I'm really looking forward to going in the shower now. Um, interesting development. My girlfriend's laptop is broken. Um, it dropped on the floor today. The hard drive is mashed completely. Uh, so I am going to see if I can dig something out around here to help her out for now. I kind of want to give her my old MacBook Pro, but I don't think I've got a working battery for it. So that sucks. And I could replace the hard drive in her laptop. I think that might be the easiest option. I do have a hard drive. I've got the one terabyte Caviar Blue that uh, Joe gave me. I could use that, but I don't really know if I want to sacrifice it in there. Um, oh, I'd rather I'd rather keep it for something a bit cooler, but we'll see. What up, fellow interneters? It is Sunday. And as you can probably tell already, I am looking a lot better. The reason I haven't been recording uh, vlog segments is I've been a misery guts, total misery guts, and I know I recorded several clips of me just ranting, and my god, I'm so sorry, but I feel a lot lighter now. I feel as if a lot of things are off of my shoulders, and that's making me feel great. So it's Sunday today. Um, slight, you know, pain in the ass is, uh, it is, um, five o'clock now, because I've been enjoying my Sunday, I've been watching a few films and stuff, been chilling out, um, so I've just got home now, and I'm going to make a couple of videos, hopefully Mondays and Tuesdays, and then I'm going to edit them in work tomorrow, because tomorrow is one of those days where I'm in work all day, um, but it's cool, because I'll hopefully edit them tomorrow, like I literally just said. I've I've literally had an, uh, an epiphany, I'm feeling much better, I'm feeling awesome, I've come up with loads of ideas today, everything's been awesome, but it's going to be a busy couple of weeks and that, what with work and whatnot, and Tuesday is also a very busy day for me, so we'll see how everything goes. But for now, I'm just going to get myself organised on the computer, and then hopefully by, let's have a look, it is five o'clock now, hopefully by half five, I'll have a video idea prepped and ready to go, and we'll be filming, so... Yeah, half five, half six, half seven, half eight. I got a load of time to film a couple of videos. It's pretty good. Might even get one edited and uploading overnight tonight. That would be uh, a bonus. But yeah, I've got a rough idea of what I want to do. Let's see if it, uh, see if I can pull it off. This vlog will probably be going, carrying on over the next couple of days, probably. Right, guys. So as you know, I came back from a gig, and this is all my stuff um, left over from that gig that I need to pack back under the bed, and I generally need to tidy things up a little bit. Um, Tomorrow's video is going to be a very special video. It's going to be Tour of the Geek's Desk. I've decided to do one before getting my Hackintosh just to show this setup in its entirety because I worked so hard on it and I'd like to show everyone um, in a proper video. So I think that's what I'll do. Um, and also I've got to tidy all of this up because tomorrow I'm in work all day but Tuesday morning I have um, someone coming over to work on a video project with me, um, a non-YouTube video project on this setup. So I need this room to be tidy and presentable, which is, it's not going to be because it's horrendous, but I need to get it looking a lot better. I also need to clear, come on, come on, come on, come on, Ugh, whatever. I also need to clear uh, outside of the studio and a little bit up in the studio because it's likely that we'll need to nip up there for a couple of things as well. So I've got my work cut out in the next few hours, but Firstly, get this done, record Tour of Geek's desk, and then focus on up there, so yeah. So a bit of behind the scenes, guys, the desk is now ready for the tour, pretty much, I guess, but of course, I've shoved everything to the back of the room. The lights are all packed under there nicely, but I've just shoved everything else there. It is currently 6.06, .06, so I assume that this video will be recorded and edited by about quarter past seven latest, which gives me a good two hours before I start getting knackered to tidy this place up a little bit. I do need to think of another video to record, but I'm kind of thinking that this vlog could be Tuesday's video, so yeah, this is the kind of decision-making process that I go through every day, and I know a load of you guys like the behind-the-scenes stuff. Also, I've got the MacBook Pro out. Uh, explanation is coming behind that very soon. So yeah, I'm gonna film this tour of a geek's desk uh, right after I take a leak, and uh, I'll be back with you in a bit. So guys, we have video exporting, all edited, very pleased, and uh, room as tidy as I can get it. All of this is cell, apart from that Power Mac and the food on top of it. 
um, all the gaming stuff to sell and that. But as you can see, other than that, I'm looking fairly tidy. Got all the Quicksilver bits and bobs there, as well as uh, my camera rig and some clean washing and stuff, lighting stuff, of course. And uh, that monitor and PC power supply is on its way up to the studio. So now, it is 25 past 7, so I'm really pleased with the progress. I'm going to go upstairs and make a start on tidying up the studio as best as possible. So, um, this is actually getting pretty damn good. So everyone, Tour of Geek's Desk is ready to go live, and I have just finished that massive studio cleaning session that you guys should have seen as a video. Um, so, yeah, wow, that was something intense. So guys, this is me signing out for tonight. I'm going to grab some grub and then I'm going to majorly chill out. I'll catch you tomorrow in my really busy day of work, probably. So guys, it looks like I didn't take you to my really busy day of work. Um, but it did happen. It is Thursday today, so I haven't recorded anything since Sunday evening. And Sunday evening was one of the uh, most productive nights I've had in a while in terms of tidying the place up and that. And it, I did good ground on Sunday to get Monday's and Tuesday's video done. And of course, uh, also, today's video has been filmed over the past little while. So massive apologies for today. As you guys know, um, there's been a delay in the video. There's various reasons for that. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to bore you guys with all the ins and out details of my life over the past couple of days. It's been a little rough, to tell you the truth, guys. Um, I do need to give you a life update really soon. Um, there are a couple of things that I really need to share with you guys. I've been let down a little bit um, by the system. Um, that's pretty much what I'm going to say about it at the moment. I've been let down a little bit in terms of my life and in terms of um, a certain future exciting plan that I was going to announce and uh, it can't happen anymore. And and uh, every single day that passes now I'm learning how much more difficult it is to be a grown up than a kid. Um, but that's cool at the same time, you know, as you guys know, I'm uh, I'm self-employed now, I I try my hardest to work really hard and, and money is quite stressful and everything, so I do have an update to give you guys and it's going to be soon and you guys are going to be shocked, but it's also really exciting at the same time, it's magnificent. Um, but yeah, apologies for the late vlog guys, um, you're probably seeing this Friday morning to tell you the truth. Um, I'm just, I've just finished editing the vlog now, and I thought it was a crap one, but I think it was okay, so as usual on the vlogs, um, leave me a comment down below to tell me if you reach the end. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm not officially classing myself as ill at the moment, but I am a little under the weather. I'm quite sniffly, and I'm just, I've got a headache, and I'm not feeling the best. Yesterday I had a massive day at work as well. Um, so it's been a bit, a bit of a journey these past few days, but... Yeah, it's all good, and uh, it's busy, busy couple of weeks, but it should quieten down a little bit after next week as well, which will really help. So hopefully I will see you guys in time for Friday's video. Uh, I really hope so, but if not, the delay will just carry on. I, I always do five videos a week. Sometimes they're late or sometimes they're delayed, but I've never completely not done one. So anyway, all ranting aside, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I'm not sad. I may sound sad or depressed or annoyed. None of the above. I'm absolutely fine, I'm just a bit a bit knackered, so huge thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.